Great to uh, have you on, mate. 40th anniversary. Um, but the first question is, why aren't we in the Hammer Time segment and why have you chosen to uh, avoid that competition? Well, Shane, you know me, right? Yeah. You, you know That's I why like... I'm surprised. That's right. You know I like to talk trash and I can score when I talk trash. You've seen it. You've witnessed it. So why are we here? Well, it's your segment. I didn't want to embarrass you. You know what I mean? You're doing well now as a commentator. I just wanted you to relax and do your thing. All right. I saw Rick Mahorn at the Big Three mm -hmm. in the off-season. He was one of the veterans. Yes. I'm in mean Charles Barkley. And yep. he said they used to argue about whose rookie you were in your oh, rookie year. Oh, right. I think I belong to both of those guys. And that's how it works in the NBA. Two veteran guys, they sort of looked out for me, though. They, they were very good guys. Um, and I still stay in touch with those guys. Uh, but anything they needed, coffee, breakfast, I was the boy. I had to run and get it. And they tipped well, trust me. They tipped well. <laughs> 1992, you come to Australia. When I first saw you, I thought it was Sammy Davis Jr. and I thought you are here to sing and dance. Well, I did sing and dance. I think I dropped um, 37 on that first game. What did you first think when you came to the Melbourne Tigers and balls rolled out and practice? Well, practice was a bit different. I just left the Clippers. We had this massive stadium in LA. And, we, we, and, and my first training was at Albert Park. Um, court was very tiny, orange seats and possum poo everywhere. So I'm thinking to myself, am I dreaming here? What, what, what am I going from, from sugar to shit? But look, it worked out <laughs> great. I'm, I'm happy I stayed and, and you know, you know I'm, I'm a part of the Tigers now. You would have heard about Drewy when you first got there. He's away. What did you think when you first saw him? Well, <laughs> the, gray, the gray ghost. Man, I knew how good he was, though. I mean, I, I'd done my research. He was a hell of a player. Dwayne McClain told me that like, this is one of the best players out here. Uh, and I'd seen him play in college. I knew he was great. I just didn't know how much he was going to take over. Uh, but look, we, we, we managed to work together. Um, and, and that was the best thing about playing with Andrew. He was very competitive. I was competitive, and we made each other better. What made him so special? Because he worked every single day. And that's what I say to these young guys today. Today, you need the coaches to encourage you guys to work. Back then, before training, after training, he got up shots. He made himself better. He made us better because he always wanted to compete. I can make 100 shots. Let's make 100 shots. And every day, we did that, and we were making each other better. 532 games, 10,735 points, fourth all time. A lot of them on you, Shane. A lot of them on you. 1,242 <laughs> three-pointers, fifth all time. What was your greatest memory of playing in the NBA? Probably the first championship in Perth against the Wildcats. The, the Tigers hadn't won in 10 straight games in Perth. You know, to go in there and almost win the second game, but then to take that game in the third game was probably, you know, the greatest moment. Um, to see Andrew and his dad hug the way they hug, um, to, to know what it meant for the Tigers, it was fantastic. And, and we kept the ball rolling. Look at the Gays family, Lindsay and Andrew. Andrew just tears streaming down the face. Who is uh, your hardest opponent in the NBL? I'm not saying this on you, and I would say Ricky Grace. You can shoot the ball so well and because you had that arrogance that a lot of players don't have today. I, I'm not saying it because you're here. You were a cocky little shit, Shane, back then. But it is what it is. It, it made you better. It made us better. So, well, mate, thanks for your time. You've been one of the all-time greats in the NBL. And uh, I got a question for you before, before we go. Okay. Did I bust you? Did I, I think I got my career high on you, Shane. I think I got 49. I told you, I never played against you. I, I think I got my career Drewie. high on you, Shane. 49, really? Melbourne Park. <laughs> I think I did. Was Drewy wrapped up like a mummy? Drewy was wrapped up like a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good on you, mate. Thanks, well done. Mate.